Hey there, AMC fans, and welcome to the AMC Thursday Ticket. Yes, My name sir. is Sergio, and I'm here with Hank. I am Hank. I am here today to talk to you about so many things. So many so things. So many things. I mean, let's start off with the amazing weekend we just had. Oh, yes. We had I a mean, great weekend. Now, this is crunch time for the mm -hmm. movies. There are so many movies that come out at the end of every year. You got to get Oscar qualifiers in there. You got blockbusters in there. Yep. But Sergio, tell us about what came out this last weekend. I mean, we're talking Aquaman, right? Yes. I said that was going to be the movie I was most excited about. Uh, yes. And yes, I did. predicted it would come in at number one at the box you office. You were proven correct. <laughs> correct. Absolutely. Yes. The movie grossed about 68, $67.4 million Woo! is what it did. That's a big weekend. Um, but no, then you have Mary Poppins at $23.5 million, yep. Bumblebee, and then Spider's Web. And like you said, there Spider-Verse. Oh, spider -Man. I don't think Spider's Web made no, uh, too no, much money you're this totally weekend. right. <laughs> Spider-Verse. There, there was no... I mean, shortage of titles. Shortage of titles yeah. to go see yeah, this, this is this is a phenomenal time of year. So basically, you could pick uh, a movie a day from the time Christmas Eve until the until the New Year. Let's even go to January second. Say the twelve and days see, of Christmas. Yes, right? the twelve days of Christmas. You can see a new movie every day because you've got those four movies you talked about. You got some movies that came out that are still playing through. The Grinch is still out. Yeah. From the holiday time, Ralph breaks the internet is still out for the kids. You can still see those movies, and you got all the Oscar movies that are coming out and getting wider this year. I mean, so. what what a great time to be yeah. an AMC A list member. Oh my gosh, Holy Mary smokes. Queen of Scots. The favorite, Vice, just came exactly. out on the basis Get of sex. Done. Watch Tons of free. movies, tons of movies that came out this weekend. Check it out every day until the new year, and even into the new year, you got an awesome movie you can go see. But today's show is all about 2018 and yes. the highlights of 2018. Mm -hmm. I mean, I gotta say, this has been an amazing year for the box office. Yeah, well, the movies I think have been very good. The That's movies true. have been very good. So I think, because for me, the gold standard of movie years for me is 1989. Okay. Which I will, I'll set the stage for you. I'm 10 years old. <laughs> I love movies. I'm just getting into movies. And it all started because I went and saw Batman in a movie theater, which is 1989, Tim Burton. But 1989 was a phenomenal year at the movies. Sure. I'd say it's got four of, in, that might be in my top 10 of all time. You've got Batman, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Oh, That's yeah, a great sure. summer right there. Parenthood is that year. And then, what I would argue might be the greatest Christmas movie of all time, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation came out in 1989. <laughs> I mean, that is a, a hell very, of a year. Listen, a very memorable year for yes. movies, but does not hold a candle to this year. We're it's talking $11.8 billion yes, dollars in true. box office revenue, dude. Mm, it's it a big is year. amazing, yeah. So what we want to do is, is talk about our favorite movies of 2018. Yes, and now, as you can see, if you're looking at your screens right now, we've got the five movies that the hosts of this show have picked. We're not going to tell you who picked them yet. You're going to find right. out throughout the show. But we want to hear from you. What are your favorite movies this year? Write them in the comments. Let us know. Yes. If you agree with us, you know, we got a little poll going on <laughs> about what our five favorite movies are. We want to hear from you. Vote for the movies. Vote for the movies that like the, that someone on the show picked that is the best pick. I'm not going to tell you who. Maybe someone picked the Listen, right movie. Just just let us know which one of the five below is your favorite of 2018, and yeah. we'll see yeah. who comes out on I top. Am, I am an impartial person in this, but I think someone <laughs> picked the right movie as the best I movie think, of 2018. I think they got it, Hank. What? So with that, let's get the show started, let's right? Let's talk about your My favorite, favorite movie. movie. All right, let's start this show off properly. You know, we start at the best. So let's start at the I best movie okay. of the year. Mission Impossible Fallout was my favorite movie of the Great year. Great movie. This movie took me to new heights in the action franchise mm -hmm. world. Now, I'm a big spy genre action movie fan. Love James Bond. But I'm a big Ethan Hunt fan I as well. Sure. I've been there since the beginning with Mr. Cruz. I call him Mr. <laughs> Cruz because I hold him in such high regard. Absolutely. Uh, from the very beginning of First Mission Impossible. And these movies... I, I can't explain how they do this because I don't know how they do it. They one up themselves every single they time. Do. They so, do. And, and Tom Cruise, what is going on with this guy? Is he a vampire? I, I think the man doesn't age. Something is, is going is. on. He is straight up Benjamin buttoning the world right now <laughs> with the fact that Freshman and Spouse comes out over 20 years ago. True. If you, I watched all five of them before yep. I watched Fallout to see the sixth one in the theater. And the guy doesn't age. He might even look better now than he did 20 years ago. You, and you, he's doing crazier stuff. I was going to say, you would think that the stunts would get a little yeah. less intense. Uh, it's the other way around. Yeah, no, it's nuts. <laughs> so, yeah, in the first one, he does pretty awesome stunts. He does the Langley thing where he just That's right, the, down, the wire act. Like that yeah, kind of yeah, stuff, yeah. Which sounds really cool. But then you put that effect against, you know, he learned to fly a helicopter in this movie, <laughs> True. jumped across a building and broke his ankle. <laughs> the first movie seems like child's play now compared to what this guy's doing. Well, you know, he, he we know that he does his own stunts. And mm -hmm. I got to tell you, I think he is like our modern day Jackie Chan. And Jackie Ooh. Chan's still around, right? Oh, yeah, but I mean, absolutely. he does all his own stunts yeah. and he breaks bones. He's not afraid of anything. Sergio, you got... I think you just, I mean, this is gold. I'm glad we're recording this. I think you just wrote Mission Impossible 7. <laughs> Jackie Chan, Tom Cruise on the screen together. 
I mean, I can't wait. That's amazing. I cannot wait for that. <laughs> that would be a very, very good yeah, movie. This was an amazing film. It's got some amazing filmmakers behind it, great actors. And we actually sat down with them way back earlier this year to talk about Mission Impossible Fallout. I actually got to sit down with a couple of these people as a Lucky highlight guy. of my year to hear them talk about this amazing action movie. Let's watch that right now. Which way, Betty? Turn left. Go, 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 go. What are you waiting for? I'm jumping out a window. Oh, sorry. Good luck. The, the live action in this movie is really more intense than anything we've ever done before. There's a, uh, a high altitude, low open skydiving sequence. Uh, there's a helicopter sequence with Tom doing all of his own flying. But there's also a really good character drama going on in the story to boot. It's, it's, it's really a, a different Mission Impossible. It is fantastic. There was points where if I were to count how many times I came close to death in this movie, my mother probably wouldn't be happy to hear it. The scope of this film is extraordinary. You know, it's it's going to be a great summer blockbuster in every sense, I think. Mission Impossible Fallout. I mean, it, what I all I got to say right now is you should vote with your heart for the right movie. <laughs> Vote with a heart for the right movie. Listen, for I the will best say, movie I will say, I love Tom Cruise and all yes. his movies for the yes. most part. I mean, they're all great. Edge of Tomorrow, all this stuff. His 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 the arsenal. List, it's too. The is list amazing. is too long. We don't have a long yeah, enough show for sure. But another movie I did love this year, so I don't want to take too much. But I really love Spider Man Into the Spider Verse. That was a great movie. Maybe my second favorite movie of the year. Yeah, it was, it was like groundbreaking animation. We'd never seen that up on no. screen. It was really, really cool. It was super funny. I've seen it twice. Yep. It, it's an amazing achievement in film. Super awesome. And speaking of Spider-Man and the Spider-Verse, oh. we got some Spider-Man and Spider-Verse stuff to give away. Not just Spider-Man and Spider-Verse. Oh, we got not some just that? Bumblebee comic books. We got some solo dice, pins. We got some giveaways that we want to share with yes. you. Yes. So what we want you to do is just let us know what's your favorite movie. Who do you agree with? Who do you disagree with on their favorite movie? <laughs> don't don't and just disagree let, with me. Just Come let on, us know. Love it. Stay engaged throughout the whole show. We want to hear from you. And at the end, we're going to give some lucky winners or maybe a lucky winner away some, some of this stuff. Absolutely. Here but we go. now it's time for the second yes. movie on our agenda. Yep. And we're going to kick it over to Jordan to tell us why he loved Hereditary so much. Let's hear from Jordan. Hey guys, Jordan here again at an AMC theater. The time has come for me to share my favorite movie from this year. Now it's been a great year for film and I'm proud to say that I've seen 86 movies released this year, but there can only be one. Want to give some honorable mentions to Black Panther, Green Book, and Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, but my favorite movie from this year was Hereditary. Now this comes as a shock because I'm not really a big horror fan, but this movie stayed with me way after the credits, uh, the credits rolled. What starts off as a slow building family drama turns into one of the most terrifying movies that I've ever seen. Led by a brilliant performance from Toni Collette who is most deserving of a Best Actress nomination, this film follows a family's deterioration in the most evil, sinister, and emotional ways. For those of you who have seen the movie, I will end with, for those of you who haven't, your nightmares await you. It is quite extreme without being, you know, sensationalized. There's a real truth to it and it is really profound. She isn't gone. I think the thing that really makes Hereditary unique is that even if you took all of the horror or thriller aspects out of the film, it would still be good because it spends enough time developing the family relationships and the characters. The sound is incredible and visually it is a very exciting movie. Mom? I don't like this. Dad, I don't like this. What's happening? Pina! It's kind of brilliant how Ari made it curdle into horror and made this family that's got all these horrible things going on uh, makes them go to hell and all their awful tumultuous uh, guilts and all those things become literal. It's completely shocking and I think the scariest thing about the movie is there is absolutely no hope. Yeah, so no doubt Hereditary was a fantastic movie yeah. as well. One of the scariest movies we've seen in a very long time. Mm -hmm. But not scary because it just jumps out and stuff. I mean, the girl cuts the head off a 
for <laughs> that's scary in and of well, itself. There, there are a lot but of suburb heads. It messes in the movie. with you. It messes with you inside your head too, not just your eyes, well, but inside your head. It's, it's like I said when we first talked about the movie months ago. It's a very, it's a sophisticated, sophisticated horror movie. I like it. It's you, what it is. It's yes, a sophisticated you get dressed film. up to watch this movie. It's <laughs> yes. sophisticated. No, but it's 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 very very smart in and the cerebral way. and cerebral. Cerebral, exactly. Yes, and I think that's what made the movie stand out and made it so successful. Yes, you know, it's one of. Uh, A24's biggest movies. Yeah, yeah, it was a great movie. And it came out earlier in the year, too, so it's it's had some staying power as well. So if you are Mm -hmm. a fan of the movie and the movie maybe shocked you and wow, 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 Mm -hmm. make sure you hit the wow button below. It's doing like this. Let us know. (laughs) Which is kind of what you did when you watched the movie. It's it's, it's what everybody did when they saw the movie. Tony Collette comes out and goes, Yeah, exactly. It's just very scary. Very scary. So now now switching gears, right? We're going, moving away from the horror, moving into a little bit of some drama here. Yes. We're going to talk about Star is born. Yeah, and I've been working on my Jackson Maine impression. <laughs> I love it. And I'm, I just think this movie's phenomenal. The I, movie was beautiful. phenomenal. When you got something <laughs> to say and people are there to listen, yep. it's just beautiful. So with that, we'll talk more about the movie later, but let's listen to what Kaylee had hey. to say about her favorite movie. Kaylee, I want you to come on stage and sing this song with me. <laughs> Thanks, guys. It was so hard to choose what my favorite film of 2018 was, but I think that it has to be A Star is Born. I loved seeing Bradley Cooper, who we know as an actor, transform into the world of musicians. And on the flip side, Lady Gaga, a well-known musician, transforms into the world of an actor. And not to mention this has one of the most memorable soundtracks that is still sticking with us today and will probably stick with us for a really long time. So the cast, we got to sit down with them and talk about why we need to see this theme theatrical, musical experience in a theater. Let's see what they had to say. Come sing that song that I love. No, I can't do that. Here you come, here we go. <laughs> That's interesting. It, it is a lot of why I wanted to make this film, is I wanted it to be a theatrical experience. Uh, it's why, I'm part of why I was subjective on the stage, you know, that you can live vicariously through the two musicians, especially her. And in order to do that in the right way, you have to see it big because that's how one experiences it. It's the closest thing to you seeing it live. Right. You gotta, you gotta see the veins in the neck. You gotta, you gotta see the sweat. You gotta see the moments with Jackson and Ali together, singing together on stage on one mic. It was definitely made for the big screen. It's, you know, it's like going to a concert. It's exactly the same thing. It's huge. When you're in there in a theater and it's surround sound and it's, you know, it's an, it's an experience you should have, you know. Look at me. All you gotta do is trust me. That's all you gotta do. So, Star is Born, mm-hmm. absolutely incredible film. Yes. There's I mean, no doubt. Maybe one of the best times you've had at the movies because you felt like you get a movie and a concert at the same time. Absolutely. No, yeah, it's yeah. a two for one. And now's a very good time for you guys to start sharing, yes. you know, share with your friends. We're here, tag people, get people involved yes, in the conversation. Yes, we want to hear the conversation. What are you guys talking about? What is your favorite movie that you're talking about your friends? you got to share the video so they can then vote for the right person That's right. and the right stuff <laughs> for this that. movie. But, but yes. no, no. Star is Born, yes. I mean, the movie is going to be up for God Tons knows how many Oscars. It's, it's already imagine, up for a lot of gold I can imagine Best Director actor, best uh, film, best actor, actress, They're talking score. about this being the first movie in a long time that has a, a real chance to get the big four, to get actor, director, actress, and picture. So. And kudos, kudos to Bradley Cooper. I mean, oh, this yeah. was his directorial debut. It, first movie out amazing. of the gate as a director, and boy, what a way to make a splash. Yes, I mean, it was, it was awesome. Now, another movie that made a splash this year, Black Panther. Just a little <laughs> Just splash. a little bit of a Just splash a at the beginning splash. of the year. Third highest grossing movie domestically. Of all time. Ever. Of all time. $700 million. Yeah, yeah. Out of control. So, so our friend Alicia. Yes. Picks Black Panther as her favorite movie of the year. But we got to hear her talk about Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Right? We can't talk about it. It's Alicia's time to shine. Let's hear from Alicia right now. Hi, guys. I'm so excited to talk to you about my favorite movie of 2018. It should be no surprise to any of you. It is The Black Panther. It broke records during pre-sale. It broke records opening weekend. Uh, First, an ensemble but uh, African-American cast this large being this successful. I was so proud to be at the premiere, saw the beautiful red carpet, the wonderful stars, felt the energy and excitement that they had. I knew from that moment that it was going to be amazing, and it was. I've seen it probably a billion times. I'll probably watch it tonight because I've been talking about it today. I love this film for so many reasons. 
from the cast, from uh, the women that were in the film, Shuri in science, teaching her brother how to wear better shoes, but also how to use the technology to be a successful king of Wakanda. I love this movie. I'm so excited. I'm proud of the people that are in this film. It got nominated for Golden Globes. It's probably going to get nominated for Best Picture. Quote me on that from Academy Awards. It might even win. I would be, I'll go crazy. I love this movie. You probably do too. I have to end it like this. Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever! You know, for us, Wakanda is, is, is a high-functioning society. And what you see in, in all societies, where, where you see the presence of women. Strong women, smart women, powerful women, people of color. I think what Wakanda offers us is a glimpse of a nation where both sexes are realizing their full potential. I think I love the idea of young girls seeing all of our characters, but seeing Shuri, you know, the idea of even that issue around girls in maths and sciences. It allows young girls to be able to imagine what they could be and the potentialities of what they are. Step into the spotlight. Woo! Woo! Yeah, what an impactful movie was that, huh? I mean, right. Uh, you got to do it. Wakanda, Wakanda forever. forever. Absolutely. It's so Absolutely. true. It's so true. Yeah, I uh, love that movie. It was it was one of the first times where I've been to the theater and I walked out and I was like, wait, I think I need to go right back in. Yeah. I think I need to go right back in Absolutely. and watch this movie again. Because it was that powerful. It was, and, and, and just the amount of culture oh, and yeah. diversity. Yeah. I mean, it, it, was, it was so great to see all the characters and their glory. Yeah, so if you want to vote for Black Panther as the best movie of the year, yep. you give it the thumbs up. You got the That's thumbs right. up emoji down, downstairs. Is that what we call this? Downstairs? Yeah, I think so. So just to Don't remind everybody, okay, we're voting for the, 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 your favorite of, yes, our, of five, our five. Yes. Right? So for Mission Impossible, you want to give it a little heart. Oh, the heart. I mean, the, the right? most important emoji is the heart. That's right. Yes. Hereditary, we're looking for the wow face, the wow emoji. Uh, for Star is Born, we're sad. looking for the sad, you know, because yeah, the sad. movie's not... It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's sad. Slightly downtrodden <laughs> at times. For Black Panther, we're looking for a big thumbs up. Yep. And now for the final film that we got to talk about, your favorite movie of the year, <laughs> Avengers Infinity yes, War. Yes, yes. Now, I think, I got to tell you, this mm -hmm. was probably, and I, I'm sure it was on your radar too, the, the most anticipated movie of 2018. I, of, of maybe the decade, of, possibly? Of ever, I mean, of yeah. forever. Maybe right behind... A, a Star Wars, A Force Awakens, <laughs> yes. you would put Avengers Infinity War. Absolutely. Words, the most anticipated movie of this decade. Yeah, no, yeah. the movie, I mean, you're talking everything that Marvel has done over the last 10 years, 19 yes. films that have led the to... The culmination. The culmination yes. of everything they've done have led to the big moment where everybody gets to meet Thanos, the biggest, baddest guy yeah. in the universe. And, it, and it's an achievement to make one cool movie. Yep. It's definitely an achievement to make four or five. To make 19 and then one-up <laughs> yes, yourself exactly. to put all of those characters in one movie at the end of that... I mean, that is unheard of. <laughs> it's it's just completely unprecedented. And they pulled it off. And That's they did the it. And they did thing. it with style. Yeah. And there's more to come. We know oh, that yes. Avengers Endgame, Endgame is coming out next year. And everybody and their mother, Captain Marvel <laughs> yeah. as well, yes, yes. will be there to take on Thanos a final time, maybe, yeah. hopefully, right? Yeah, I mean, it's... I, it would be weird. It is called Endgame. So you kind of thought the end of Infinity War seemed kind of like an Endgame for some like of those people. Endgame. Maybe this is the real Endgame Agreed. right there. Yes. Agreed. But let's kick it over to a video of the crew, the oh, cast yeah. and crew, talking about Thanos and how much of a badass he really was. Yeah, I mean, to say the least. <laughs> if he gets all the Infinity Stones, he can do it with the snap of his fingers. Just like that. Tell me his name again. Thanos. He's very intense, uh, and I think uh, very unique amongst the canon of Marvel villains. He's got genius level intelligence, uh, he's nearly invincible, and he's uh, strong-willed, and he's got a very specific goal in mind, so it's going to cost the heroes a lot to try and stop him. Take all of those guys, times them by a hundred, and put them in the one guy, and that won't even be close to beating Thanos. So I absolutely loved Avengers. You know you loved it What's too. What's not to love? I mean, it's amazing. What's not to love? And, and, and you know, you're looking forward to the next one, Avengers Endgame. Absolutely. And I'm telling you right now, Sergio, Avengers Endgame, probably already my favorite movie of 2019. <laughs> already my favorite movie of next year. Haven't even seen it's it. It's going to be 
Incredible. I'm declaring it now. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I got no, you. I, and, and you know what? You've told us that you love it too because, you know, it was the fourth highest grossing movie ever. Of all time. There of you all go. time. There right, you go. right behind Black Panther. Yeah, so. so Sergio, we need a recap right now. How are Let's they voting? Go. How are they going to tell us so again, what their favorite movie we've is? We've been taking this poll right down below so mm -hmm. you can see. Uh, if you loved Mission Impossible in 2018, give it a nice heart emoji. Yes, if heart. If you loved Hereditary, give us the wow emoji because you were so wowed and scared <laughs> by it. <laughs> if you loved A Star is Born, give it a nice sad emoji because the movie is a little mm. bit sad. If you liked Black Panther, you're going to give it a big thumbs up. And Avengers, give it the angry emoji like Hulk smash. Like, what are you doing, Hank? We're, we're in the middle oh, of the show. I'm, I'm sorry, were you still talking? Yeah, well, yeah oh, we're in the middle oh, of the show. Okay. Uh, well, you know, I, Aquaman's starting in like 10 minutes. So okay. I think I'm going to go. I got to go. No, you, you gotta yeah. gotta, no, I got to stay. No, I got to go. I mean, we already know who won. We already no, no, know no. who's going to win We don't the poll. know who's won yet because we still got another couple minutes before the show ends. Okay, well, I think <laughs> okay. I got to go. Aquaman starting. I'm, but I'm, you know what? All right, you fine. Got, you take, I'll, I'll text you. I'll let you yeah, know who won. Yeah, text me Let me know who won. Let me know who won. Because I'm a little upset right now that this is Leo. It was an angry emoji. But we're going to shoot it over to our next segment, Exclusive Offers, where we're going to talk about some offers in the AMC-verse and talk about our winners of the price packs that we showed earlier today. So let's check out some AMC-exclusive offers. So the first offer we're going to talk about is one that's actually been mentioned on previous shows, and with good reason, because believe me when I tell you, it is an incredible offer. So get your passports ready, because AMC Stubbs members who purchase tickets to Mary Queen of Scots from now through January 6th will be automatically entered to win a seven-day, six-night trip for two to Scotland and England. You'll be able to take a tour of Westminster Abbey. So don't forget, AMC Stubbs members purchase tickets to Mary Queen of Scots between now and January 6th, and you'll automatically be entered to win. So take advantage. Don't waste any time. The next offer we're going to talk about is for a movie that doesn't open for another couple weeks. It's for A Dog's Way Home. AMC Stubbs Premier and Insider members. Now, this excludes AMC A-list members. When you purchase tickets to A Dog's Way Home between December 28th, tomorrow, and January 13th, you'll automatically be, be, automatically be entered to win a dogcation. So what exactly is a dogcation? Well, it's a four-day, three-night trip for the winner, their guest, and their dog to Bachelor Gulch, Colorado. So you get to take, you know, your dog hiking down Beaver Creek Mountain and all that good stuff on an awesome dogcation. So take advantage. Those are two great offers that are available to you guys right now. Um, buy your tickets at amctheaters.com or our mobile app. So earlier we teased a prize pack that we were going to be giving away. We wanted you guys to like, share, join the conversation, tag, all kinds of things. And we have to the best of my ability since Hank left. Uh, we have the prize pack right here. So you've got Funko Pops, you've got a Bumblebee action figure, you've got comic books, pins, all kinds of things galore. And I'm happy to announce that the individual who we're going to go ahead and give this prize pack to is Raquel Renee. Thank you very much, Raquel. Congratulations for participating and helping us spread the word. It's all about movies and having a good time. Um, I think that's more or less it. I mean, it's the end of the year, right? It's, it's, it's time to remember the old and start fresh with the new. Um, don't forget to pick up your tickets at amctheaters.com or on our mobile app to any movie that you want to go see this weekend. Uh, be sure to follow us on all our social, all our social channels. So Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and uh, YouTube. We're all here every week. Um, and most importantly, next week, same time, same place, we're going to be talking about the 2019 film slate. So all the big movies that are coming out next year, we're going to go ahead and cover. Um, yeah, I mean, just have a great holiday weekend. Have a, 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 a happy new year. And before we leave, we got to go over who won the poll. Who was the movie of the five that we picked that, that rained on top and it's got to, you got to give it to the king of Wakanda, Black Panther, Wakanda forever. So Alicia is going to be super stoked that her movie won. Thanks again for participating, guys. We will see you next week. Happy New Year.